Hey y'all, it's Andrea with VW Family Farm. And I thought today I would just take you on a little tour and give you some updates of all the different animals that have been born, all the lambs, piglets, quail, whatever we can find. And I'll give you a little cow update. There's been more cow development. Seems like that's gonna be an everyday thing for a while. But let's go look at the lambs. <laughs> And Crazy Katie, of course. He's happy to see me, yeah. So as you can see, all the lambs are doing good. I'm trying to see, someone commented that they've never seen our goats. I think I've showed them, but let me see if I can find them and I'll show you the goats. They're pretty heavily bred right now, so they're due any day. Um, let me take you over here and show them to you. So this is Stinky Boy. He doesn't really have a name. He just really stinks all the time. <laughs> so we don't pet on him a whole lot. He was a bottle baby and he spooled rotten and he wants to be petted, but he smells so bad. So this is Honey Bun. I'm trying to show myself. I know the road's loud too. She wants to be right up in the camera. But I'm gonna try to show you Honey Bun. Uh, I love this goat so much. She's so good at milking. She's just a good goat. I know you've seen Gretchen Wieners over on Roots and Refuge channel. This is her mama. Say hi. Look. Say hi. Say my name's Honey Bun. And I'm sweet. Yes. I hope y'all saw her. It's hard to film yourself and a goat. I'm gonna turn you around and give you a better look at her. Like I said, she's Gretchen Wieners' mom. Looks just like her. Say hi, Honey Bun. And this is Sugar, she's got her head buried in the hay. She's a Nigerian dwarf too, all our goats are. Honey bun, you sugaring me? I'm gonna try not to fall. Katie likes to be right under my feet. She goes everywhere I go. But anyway, that's our Nigerian dwarfs. I'd like to get a Nubian. In fact, I'm looking at getting one from Jess possibly. Can't wait for that, I've had Nubians before and they're my favorite breed, so hoping to get a Nubian because I love goat's milk for making beauty products. Anyway, let's move on. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be updating y'all on some stuff. So the first thing that I'll be telling y'all about is the quail. The quail are doing awesome. They're so crazy though. They love to run around and they're so excited when they get fed in the mornings. So they have not started laying yet, but I'm so excited for them to start because I love their eggs. They taste so good and they're so pretty. So I can't wait for them to start laying. So next thing we're gonna be looking at is some cows. Okay guys, so here's the next thing. So I think it was our last video that we showed y'all the cow that we lost. Um, this was her baby. And we've tried to get one of our milk cows to accept him, but she wouldn't. So he's going to get the royal treatment now and we're going to feed him every day. But he's a little crazy because he tries to jump over these panels. So now we're going to make a runway to run a cow and a calf pair back in with the rest of the cows. It's the one that we showed Jill right as we were getting the cows that came here with her calf that she just had and they got separated so they weren't like recognizing each other. So now we're going to run her back with the rest of them because now they are all good with each other. And my dad said in a perfect world this is supposed to go really easy. We all know this ain't a perfect world and nothing ever goes easy so. We'll see how this actually goes. So this hard working teenage boy down here is working on setting up some fence. So now we're gonna take these pigtail stakes and put them all in.
perfect world worked. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna spoke too soon. All right, guys, so sorry I had to abandon you and pass you off to Emily, but I know you'll enjoy seeing her and you were in good hands. So my whole plan was to take you around and show you the whole farm and all that stuff. And I was trying to get the video made before Ben got home and then everything just goes crazy because we run all different directions trying to do stuff that we can only do when he's here. And as you saw when I was out in the goat and sheep pen, there he was pulling up. So it was... It was time to get busy and Emily thankfully finished it up. We are just running around like chickens with our heads cut off. We're trying to keep a good attitude. Sometimes I've gotten a little down and Ben will pick me back up and, and vice versa. Sometimes he's gotten a little like, what are we doing? We've got so many irons in the fire and I'll have to uh, be the voice of encouragement. So we're trying to keep going. Um, we lost you you knew we lost the calf the very first day they came like literally within an hour of them getting here the, the little thing laid down and died and we wound up selling that crazy mama and then i told you yesterday we lost a cow um and then we also had a calf that was coughing and we knew that and we actually uh medicated it for pneumonia but when a little calf gets pneumonia uh, just because you medicate it doesn't mean you're going to save it, and we didn't. So we've lost another calf. So we've lost two calves and a cow at this point. Um, we're a little bummed, I'm going to be honest, but we knew this was part of the territory. We're trying to keep a positive attitude. Um, it's just, honestly, it's a lot of work right now. And we were talking this evening about maybe we need to trim some things back. And we don't want YouTube to be one of those things. So we're, we want to keep bringing y'all along on all our farming and all of our adventures and stuff. But I don't know exactly what all that will look like. We're going to try to film as much as we can when we've got something going on to, to film it and bring y'all along with us. But if we miss a day of putting a video up, we will be back. I promise. We, we talked this afternoon and um, Ben said, you know, I don't. I don't want to quit YouTube by any means. Even if we trim back to three videos a week, let's try that. So we're not even going to trim back at this point. We're going to try to keep putting the videos out there because honestly, we like doing it and connecting with y'all. Um, we're just trying to figure out how to keep all the balloons in the air, I guess you'd say. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, thank y'all for caring and taking this journey with us. And I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.